There are seven days until Christmas. There has been snowfall in Ramsfell. <laughs> Welcome back to Ramsfell, everyone. This is episode 13 of Pix Plays Minecraft. I have made a kind of clumsy Christmas tree. I will admit this is not my best work, but I quite like the look of it. It's got kind of blocks of golden iron on the top there because I don't really know what to do with them at this stage. And yeah, I've been decorating a little bit with the help of some snow golems and... <laughs> Sorry, one of my cats just jumped up on the table next to me, which is probably what that loud noise was. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's looking out the window like, what's out there? Um, oh, sun is setting. Probably better go inside and sleep because we have plans for the day. And the plans are the other things on the town notices. Aside from this note to self to use fire resistance potions, if you saw the last episode, you will know why. The Southern Plains are a land of opportunity. Come and visit. And that's what we'll be doing in today's episode. You may remember if you've been watching my early videos, that there is... Yeah, I saved a couple of screenshots. You'll see why in a moment. Um, there is a plains to the south of Ramsfeld that has a really nice uh, dark oak forest right next to it. Um, and I kind of want to branch out of Ramsfeld. I haven't done a great deal more building. Um, you saw the brewery, didn't you? You've seen some of the stuff in a previous episode. The only thing I've really built that's new around here is the tree, because it's been kind of hectic recently. Um, <laughs> my life, not Minecraft. Um, yeah, just been getting ready for Christmas and everything. Um, so pretty much all I've done is cover the area in snow. Um, and I, I figured out how to do those snow sheets that you can kind of pile up, which is really nice. But uh, I have no idea where the snow golems have gone. There are a couple of uh, pathways that sort of lead off into the distance and they have just vanished so uh, yeah maybe I'll encounter them in future maybe they despawn after a while I don't really know I didn't use snow golems much when I uh, played on Xbox apparently the Xbox version has a massive update now as well so there's like withers and horses and stuff in it um, so that's really cool for them um, I haven't really been playing on Xbox at all since I started on PC because obviously there's so much stuff on PC that we can uh, we can already try out. So, um, I am in the nether because I have built myself my first nether portal connection. Um, and so maybe eventually this will turn into some kind of like large scale nether hub situation. But right now, pretty much all you need to do is walk out of the nether portal there, take the first right, and then you end up at this one. And thanks to the magic of mathematics and a little bit of guesswork, I have created a portal that takes me straight to the... Uh, the suspense is killing me. It takes me straight to this forest. And this is pretty much the clearing, uh, the, well, the clearing, the sort of open space that I uh, lit up while I was waiting for the um, the sun to come up in that one episode when I got the dark wood. So, yeah, um, I'm basically going to start building a bit of stuff in this area as well. I wanted to move out of Ramsfell a little bit, even though the town there is not very big yet. I wanted to be finding some more stuff, some more materials. And basically the first thing I want to do is cover up that nether portal because it kind of looks junky, just kind of stood there. So um, I figure what I'll do is I've wanted to build a windmill for a while. I don't think Ramsfell is really the right place to build a windmill because, you know, it's a mountain town and while well, they might get a lot of wind up there, it just doesn't really fit with the aesthetic which is all kind of like um, stone and like almost like it's a mining town. Um, so I figured down here on the plains seems like a kind of cool place. It's a little bit more agricultural. There's a few different types of animals around. And it's also going to be a bit of use for all the wool I've gathered from the sheep in Ramsfell, which is ideal for making the sails of the windmill look kind of convincing. Um, I built a couple of windmills before, actually, and it was one of the builds I've been wanting to reproduce on PC. So I'm going to start off by gathering a bunch of dark oak so we can turn that into planks and use that to build the majority of the structure. I've got a bit of mossy cobblestone and some cobblestone in my inventory, and we're basically just going to build it to encase that nether portal so it doesn't look like it's just sat there in the open. And also so mobs can't kind of go in and... Not that that's really a worry, but it's just kind of good. And <laughs> while I'm here, I will also gather up some more dark oak saplings because, um, <laughs> as Kane pointed out in the comments of my uh, video where I went and uh, collected a bunch of these, I only had three and you need four to regrow stuff. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I will uh, definitely be making use of those to farm some dark oak wood if I can. Um, I figure I'll probably build this into the structure of... I'll build the nether portal into the structure of the windmill. Um, so I'm going to be needing a 
ton of planks to start with and I haven't brought a crafting table with me but we will need a new one here anyway so that's fine let's just pop it down there for now and we will be doing a bunch of building um, I'm just gonna pull out a bunch of slabs and in previous windmill designs that I've built um, the nether portal has actually been kind of underground so um, yeah, I can, I'll, I'll try and uh, remember to edit this in, but I can show you on screen that I built an overworld windmill that actually when you went underneath the windmill, it took you to an identical or more or less identical build I'd done in the nether, which was kind of like a nether, a dark world version of the overworld windmill. So yeah, I'm uh, probably not going to do exactly the same thing here, um, especially because my nether hub situation is... Uh, is going to kind of be a bit prohibitive there because it's just like a tunnel and it's halfway into the nether rack so it mean a lot of mining stuff out uh but yeah we will set up this windmill and we'll just have to deal with the noise from the portal i suppose um but i wanted to kind of encase this in dark oak wood so you can't see the portal frame at all and then we can kind of use this as the central structure of the windmill which will be quite cool looking yeah surround it like that and take a bit of fall damage <laughs> right um yeah we're going to use this as the central structure of the windmill there can be a staircase up to the upper levels and it's going to be a little bit wider than this right now so i'm kind of just building out the sections i need to cover up the nether portal for the moment and then uh yeah we will get working on the rest of it too is that looking good yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Um, I might maybe cut that down to uh, a kind of two block high structure or maybe I'll leave it as it is. But for now, we've completely surrounded that in dark oak wood and I think it's looking quite nice. I think that's uh, that's pretty cool. There's this weird kind of shadowy section under there going on. That's the problem with slabs in this game, isn't it? When you uh, don't light them up properly, they tend to look a little bit strange. Okay, we'll pull out a ton of those slabs and build this out a little bit further. Um, I usually start these by building the cobblestone frame, but for now I just want to work on making sure this uh, nether portal sits in the structure nicely and I still have room to put a bit of stuff in there because the bottom floors of these things tend to get a little bit cluttered. So yeah, we will uh, build this out a little bit more. Okay, so for now I think that is pretty good and what I want to do is pop down a bit of cobblestone for a door frame and I figure this is where I'll start to use the mossy cobblestone. I always build the doorways of these structures so they're two blocks high and two blocks wide. Like oh, like so. And then we'll be able to put in a couple of regular old doors. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the dark oak wood doors or I'm going to go with the spruce wood that I use in the buildings in Ramsfell. But we can work that out as we go, I suppose. Um, <laughs> let me just check that I've built this. Yeah, this is going to look kind of uneven, which is a bit of a shame because um, the portal in the section is three wide. And of course, it's an even number across. So... Yeah, we'll just have to go with that, and this is going to look a little bit wonky as a result. It's starting to get a little dark out here, so I will just light this area up quickly to make sure that I don't get any harassment from any creepers. The last thing I want is someone to come along and blow up my windmill before I've even finished building it. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a more irregular structure looking at it because, as you can see here, we've got doors 
on a, an even number of uh, blocks on this side. And that is even offset by one, so... Oh, yeah, that's it. I need to fill in that slab there. Uh, do I have any more slabs? I do. Great. Uh, cool. So that one can go there. But, yeah, on this side, I've got... Um, you know what? I could even reduce the door frame size to just one block. I feel like that would probably be a better thing to do. Um, just to make it, like, a little bit more of a regular structure. Um, because, yeah, I'm a sucker for symmetry. I like patterns and stuff. And I know a lot of other Minecraft players are kind of the same. Uh, so yeah, I will do my best to make this. There we go. And then that way it kind of comes in on the edge of this portal here. Yeah, great. Okay, cool. I think that's about right. Yep, that is cool. And we'll start putting some regular cobblestone over the top. Okie dokie. I'm a little bit apprehensive about building at night, but I think this should be fine. Just hoping that none of the inhabitants of the local area decide to take an interest in this project. Uh, usually what I do with windmills is I don't put any windows in on the ground floor, so we can just build up these cobblestone walls. I probably have not brought enough... Oh, misplaced that one. I have not brought enough cobblestone with me for now. Um, I did bring a stack and a half or two stacks or so, but it's going to go pretty quickly when you're making the walls of something this big, and I didn't really know how big the uh, structure was going to be, so... This is coming together nicely, though, I think. Uh, better put some lighting on the inside before we completely close this area off. Brought some more torches with me as well. Oh, look at that. We nearly had enough cobblestone there. Oh, wait, we do. <laughs> That's brilliant. I was almost ready to completely give up, but it looks like we just about have enough to finish off this room, and wow, <laughs> that turned out way better than I expected. That's really cool. Um, right, so I'm going to put together a chest. Oh, and I'm going to completely misdraw that one, um, but that's no problem. We can make it up as we go along. Put that one there and for a start let's put the wall away because we won't be needing that for a little while um so yeah the doorways look a little bit too organized right now going to substitute some of this in so it looks like the moss has grown a little bit more organically um i think i did a reasonable job of that with the enchanters cabin so hopefully we can try and emulate the success of that one um, might end up putting some vines and stuff up as well but i don't want everything to look completely the same in terms of the way i've decorated it so i'm hoping this will look a little bit distinctive like it's a building in its own right uh let's build some stairs let's get the interior structure of this sorted out while we're here okay it's a little eccentric but i think this looks quite cool um that should be taking us up around there yeah that's great um i think i may have to make the cobblestone section of this a little bit higher after all because if this is going to be the second floor then we kind of want it to start around here um, so we'll get some more slabs down. We will work on the structure of this a little bit more. But at least we have the foundations in place and fingers crossed it doesn't look like anything is deciding to come at us out of the darkness right now. Okay, that looks about right. I think we pretty much have the second floor structure done. Um, the windmills I build are usually going to be three floors tall. Uh, let's take a look at this from the outside. Let's step back and admire our handiwork. Yeah, that's looking okay so far. Um, I will have to pop in some steps just so I can get back in a little bit more easily. There we go. Um, we're going to have to go back to Ramsfell to get a bit more cobblestone to do the outside, but then when we start on that second layer, it's going to be wood panelled all the way up. We're going to put some windows in, um, probably just make those clear glass. Um, I want to work on the outside a little bit more. If I can get some more mossy cobblestone together, we'll throw together some vines and cobblestone for that. And I will keep the wool stashed away here along with some of this dark wood. But yeah, I will uh, build this up to probably three stories tall. It's going to be quite a tall build and then uh, add the sails on to the top. Um, I want to do something with this tunnel as well, especially if I'm going to be using it more regularly just to get around. Um, I want to 
<laughs> I want to silk touch some of those mushrooms that are growing in that forest. I think it'd be really cool to do like a dark oak wood and a uh, mushroom sort of wall to the side of that just to kind of make it obvious where you're going. <laughs> and Obviously, I'm going to be the only one using it for now, so I'll know where I'm going, but it's just going to sort of lend that really nice sort of you're stepping into the roofed forest area kind of feel to it. Um, and I also just want to work around with some more patterns and things because I have a kind of specific way of building a lot of my stuff that I really want to start to like break the habits. Let's pop into the storage facility for some more cobblestone. Just grab all of that for now. I'll grab some cobblestone wall and some mossy wall as well just to see if we can do anything with those. Is there anything else I want to bring? Probably some glass. Let's just take a whole stack of that with us while we can. Um, I don't think I want to use any andesite and stuff in this build. I think it's all going to be pretty rough cobblestone looking things. Maybe we will throw something else in there later if the fancy takes us. But for now, it's going to be pretty much cobblestone all the way up. Um, yeah, what else has been going on since you've last seen me? Not a whole lot. I've done a bit more enchanting. I've got myself a looting three sword back. Um, I've been using this sword mainly as my kind of regular killing sword, <laughs> I guess you could say, like when I don't really want a great deal of mob drops. I've been doing a ton more enchanting just so I can try and get infinity on this bow as well, because uh, right now I'm only working with power three, on, uh, power four, I'm breaking three, uh, which has been okay in terms of like its utility, but I'm going through arrows when I have to fight anything with a bow, so especially if I want to step back into the nether and do a little bit more exploration here, I definitely want to be getting infinity on a bow just so I don't have to worry about taking up my entire inventory space with arrows but it's early days um, I haven't managed to enchant a book with infinity yet I did get a book with silk touch a while ago which I'm quite pleased with and I'm probably going to add that to some shears if I can find a mine shaft do some uh, cobweb harvesting because you can get a silk touch on pretty much anything else a lot of the time and I have a couple of silk touch pickaxes in reserve but getting it on something like shears you just can't do normally um, which is pretty much the reason I save silk touch books when I find them um, because uh, I don't know, you probably know this about me from the fact that I uh, wanted to stockpile those emerald ore blocks, but I really like collecting stuff that you can't get normally, um, especially stuff like cobwebs. Um, and in my uh, Xbox world, I was building a museum for a while and I wanted to get one of every kind of block, which was really sort of ambitious at the time and was actually impossible to do in the world I had because it didn't generate a jungle temple and at the time jungle temples were the only way you could get chiseled stone brick so I was kind of mad about that it also didn't have a mushroom island so I couldn't get mycelium which was also a bit of a pain but I figured I was just going to build it whatever and I never actually finished that because I got a certain amount of the way done and uh, I was mostly building the structure of it. I managed to get a load of stuff just by playing through the game in the way that you do. But then, um, yeah, by the time it got around to getting some of the rarer stuff and actually putting a collection together, I'd already started playing on PC. So that was a really recent project that I uh, pretty much abandoned to start on here. And maybe I'll end up trying to reproduce it at some point, but I don't really know what I'll do. Um... Yeah, I'm still not sure about these doorways. Like, I kind of like, for the windmills I've built in the past, I kind of like the traditional oak door. Um, and I really want to use some of the other doors there are in this game because I've been working with oak doors for a while, but there's just something so kind of classic about them. And this is looking kind of like a monolith right now. I'm not entirely sure I'm happy with it. And maybe if we kind of mossy cobble the walls a little bit more, then that will start to improve the look of it but I think maybe I want to do something different with the walls for this one maybe kind of a strip of some other kind of stone or maybe do something with chiseled stone seeing as I can actually craft that in this version of the game um, maybe do something interesting with the mossy walls although I don't really know what at this stage um, this is going to be another one of those work in progress kind of things like the enchanters cabin where I will come back to it in a future episode and it will probably look completely different because I'll have reworked the outside I'll have made it look a little bit more decorated and um yeah hopefully i will have done something with it that makes it stand out in terms of how it's built now i'm probably going to need a few more doors actually like the <laughs> the usual way i've been working with these things is like three doors is more than enough for what i need but in this case because i have so many available doorways i will need six now if we put these around here 
like so. Fantastic, we're all closed off. So this is a, uh, a complete shelter with the exception of this bit that leads out here. But hopefully nothing would end up spawning up here while I'm working on it. We'll just pop some torches down just in case. I know I'm probably being super inefficient with the way those are. But yeah, I don't have the kind of on-site math skills yet to kind of go, this is the maximum spawn area or, you know, this is how far torches need to be uh, away from stuff before it will start to spawn mobs um i hopefully will pick that up as i go along or maybe it's just something that you kind of have to learn to work out but uh yeah i think for now as long as i keep a rough pattern going on down here we should be okay and i want to tidy this up a little bit because right now there's kind of an overhang created by those maybe you'll pop some upside down stairs in there to make it look a little bit more angled yeah that's probably a cool plan let's try that now while we've got the cameras rolling uh yeah i think that looks cool i think that's a little bit more interesting on the inside just to have that kind of space there mm. yeah i think it'll grow on me it'll grow on me maybe we can kind of curve it around to put the stairs inside of here or something as well i don't know just want to make something a little bit different is all it might make a kind of archway effect that would be interesting yeah, how about that? I think that looks kind of cool. I can still fit my head in it, obviously. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, looks like the sun is going down here, so let's use some of the wool we've got here, and let's make a bed, because this looks like the kind of place I would want to bivouac down for the night. There it is. And <laughs> let's put it up on the first floor. Let's camp under the stars. This is our home away from home for the time being at least, and uh, we will miss Ramsfell for the time we are away, but uh, for now I think we will leave it here. I think I will come back when I've built something a little bit more cohesive with this windmill, and uh, you guys will get to see it. I hope you'll tune in for that. Thanks very much for watching episode 13 of Pix Plays Minecraft. I'll see you guys soon.